right now in the Al Pajaras Mountains, Al Bukhara, that means Al Bishara, the, the, the mountains of good news. These were, in fact, the last mountains the Muslims came to when everything came to an end. Uh, seven years after the fall of Granada, um, the Muslims they were they were compelled to abide by restrictions and regulations and laws. The, the last remaining Moriscos, the last remaining Muslims were of course in the guise of Catholicism, but inside they were Muslims. Um, 1499, they were forced to convert to Christianity in Aragon, and it continued. 1501, for example, in Granada, all Muslim literature, books, Qurans, Hadith, books on science, everything was bur burnt in the great square of Granada, except those books that had silver and gold bindings, because of course it could, it could be used to make money. And this continued 1526, further restrictions, forced baptisms. Muslims were not allowed to be uh, house uh, wives anymore because of the fact that if a child is born, they could hear, someone could call the adhan in the child's ears. There could be no sign of prayer. This continued 1529, um, you know, no Arabic. And there was an event, there was a thing, an edict issued called the Pragmatica. The Pragmatica, which was the edict of restriction, was issued. Muslims paid a large amount of money, 80,000 ducados, to have that lifted for a period of time, 40 or 50 years. But in that time, however, they had to do other things. And of course, they didn't see them as uh, necessarily as Muslims, except that they were disguised Muslims. Uh, they had to learn the Lord's Prayer in, in Arabic, they had to, in, in, in Latin, sorry. They had to learn the Ave Maria in Latin, they had to learn the Nicene Creed, the Credo in Latin as a way of testifying to their truthfulness that they'd become Christians. And if they didn't, of course, then they would be burnt at the stake, persecuted, tortured, imprisoned, all of these restrictions on them. Um, and so the Muslims realized So the 50 years came to an end, the 40, 50 years, and they tried to have it suspended again. It didn't work, and they realized they had to prepare for a rebellion. And this began in the year 1568, the second big one, until 1570, 71, three years. And uh, at the beginning, it was, um, um, you know, it was not organized. It was uh, sporadic and uh, haphazard. They would kidnap priests, execute priests, burn churches, and these things. And the numbers they had were quite small, 2,000. But over time, it grew. And they would use these mountains, the Al Pajaras Mountains, to stockpile food and clothing and oil, enough to last them for six years. So that, that meant, of course, that they were in it for the long run. Um, and then uh, in 1568, uh, you know, 1569, they elected a leader called Hamayo Fernando de Vala, and he was from the Umayyad line. And this is the whole point. Imagine. After all those years, all that defeat, loss of Cordoba, Seville, Granada, Arcos, all of that, and they elected a leader who was from the Umayyad line. It shows that they were still trying to hold on to something. Um, and then on Christmas Eve of that year, they, uh, they, they clothed him and they dressed him in purple garments, which was the color of the kings of Granada. And again, it was quite symbolic because it showed that, no, you, ha you have something, we still have something left, we can give something. Uh, and they began then their rebellion. They began to fight back against the persecution that they had faced for a very long time by that time. Um, and they rece received reinforcements. And there was uh, some attempt at the Uthmani, the Ottoman Khalafa, uh, to send them reinforcements. But the point is, in, in 1570, then Don John, um, the great leader, took power here and he became uh, personally involved in suppressing that re rebellion and here in the Al Pajaris Mountains, he would send his troops to try and dig them out of the mountains. And he um, would order them to light fires at the entrance of the cave so that uh, the Muslims uh, who are hiding in the caves are gonna be either gonna suffocate to death uh, or they're gonna be forced to, to come out and surrender. And this really was the last, last uh, bastion of, of some Muslims who held on uh, before the final Spanish Inquisition and then there was nothing left after that.